in this video I'm going to explain you how you can search emails in Gmail using search operators this is uh, especially useful when you are using uh, this Gmail on mobile phones like Gmail app on uh, iPhone or Android phones so uh, here is the list of uh, some of the operators if you want to find out the email uh, the coming from specific sender then you can use this operator from colon and here you can give the name of that particular person so for example if I come here I want to search for emails that have that has come from say Nitish Rai then I can put it here and then hit enter then it will display only the emails that have come from Nitish Rai only that's it and uh, you can also give multiple uh, addresses as well let's say this one and uh, so on so that is one thing now next thing is uh, if you want to find out the emails that have been sent to specific uh, address then you can use this operator to colon and then the address then uh, if you know like uh, words in the subject then you can also search using that uh, operator subject colon for example if I come here now I want to find out emails whose subject contains these words my creation then you can see that these uh, emails have been found out where the subject is registered migration then next is uh, we have got or operator or this curly brackets so here you can give multiple conditions like I want to search for emails that has come from this or this person so this is or operator or you can also use curly brackets cool and remember that or should be in capital letters then uh, if you want to uh, filter the messages which doesn't contain specific word then you can use dash operator or minus operator so in example they have given dinner dash movie it means that it will find out all the emails that contains dinner word in either subject body or attachment but it doesn't contain this movie word then uh, around five friday so find messages with words near each other use the number to say how many words apart the words can be dinner around five friday so it will search for those emails which contains uh, words near each other like dinner and five friday so if the words are close then it will find out that emails then label colon friends it means that it will search for the emails uh, that are in the friends label cool so you can see that uh, you can create labels here you can see brisbane canada and all these labels are there so you can search for the mails in that specific labels as well then if you want to find out emails which contain specific attachment or say uh, any attachment then you can use this has attachment what will happen is that it will search for the emails only those emails will be searched which has got the attachment and the rest of the emails will be ignored then uh, certain emails may have like a drive link to the drive document word doc google document then spreadsheet presentation <coughs> then in that case you can use has drive has document let us move on then messages that have youtube video you can use has youtube then message from a mailing list list colon info at example dot com attachments with a certain name or file type if uh, there is an attachment uh, like we already seen if you use has attachment it will find out that uh, emails uh, which contains attachment but uh, if you want to be specific like if you want to search for emails which contains the pdf attachment then you can use file name colon pdf or you can also specify exact file name as well search for exact word or the phrase for that you have to use double quotes if you do not use double quotes then it will search for the uh, like you know uh, dinner movie uh, separately like uh, if the email contains uh, dinner movie you know, like you know uh, at different places then it will search but if you go quotes then this entire phrase will be searched all together that is it should match exactly as it is then group multiple search terms together you can use this one like if you want to search emails that contains dinner as well as movie then you can use this particular syntax then uh, in operator is very important in any here it means that it will search for the emails that contains movie word and that email uh, can be in anywhere like in any label or a spam or trash if you use like in colon inbox then what happens is it will search for the emails that are only in the inbox so if you go here this is the inbox and uh, if you search normally like here do the search like this one then what happens is it will search only in the inbox it will not uh, search in this uh, trash and spam these two directories 
So if you want to search in that directories, then you can use this any fair operator. Then uh, if the email is important or a label is important, like that you can use. If email is star, snoozed, unread, read, you can use this syntaxes. Has yellow star, has blue info, purple star. Then response in the CC or BCC, you can use this. Like uh, it will search for the emails that has got CC as David. Then another important uh, operator is after, before, older, newer, etc. So with these operators, you can use like you know tell uh, gmail to search for emails space in a specific uh, duration only like after 2004 that means it will search for emails that are uh, like which came after uh, 2004 only like 16th of april 2004 or if you want to search for emails that were like older than uh, 18th of april 2004 then you can use this before operator you can also use older than newer than operators and give the duration in two day like that then if a uh, specific email contains chat then you can use each chat then delivered to you can give the address category as well message in a certain category can also be searched here it will search for the emails which contains or uh, which has got this updates category and uh, we can also search emails which are larger than certain size in bytes using this one size colon this one now if you want to find out emails which contains like you know 10 MB size let us see so you can see that all these emails are like uh, more than 10 MB let us try to find out which are 100 MB and there is nothing let us find out 50 MB there is nothing 20 MB yeah there are some emails there are got 20 MB of data and uh, that is how you can also uh, like you know uh, f delete these emails and uh, lots of space will be released then uh, larger smaller uh, these operators are also there messages larger or smaller than a certain size so if you want to find out uh, messages that are larger than 10 MB then you can use this larger colon 10 MB or a smaller operator can also be used in the same way results that match word exactly then you can use plus operator just opposite of the minus operator and then there are some other operators which are not very useful so that's how you can use this uh, search operators to search or the filter uh, this uh, emails in gmail this is especially useful in mobile phone because if you're on desktop uh, you can use like this arrow and then over here you can give these uh, filter criteria but if you're on a mobile app of gmail then this particular screen doesn't appear so uh, instead of this screen you can use these operators over here directly you can go here and then search like that using those operators which is very handy if you find this useful hit like button and also subscribe to my channel